In this lesson, we'll learn about multiplying a number with a zero in the factor. So, as you see here, with this factor right here, 306, there is a zero in the factor. Now, a zero is just a placeholder, so we start with the ones place still, where we go 5 times 6, which is 30. So we go ahead and place a zero there, and regroup the 3 right to that tens place. It is a placeholder. 6 times 5 was 30, 0. Regroup the 3 to the tens place. 5 times 0 is what you do next, which is 0, plus 3, which is 3. Oftentimes, students might get a little confused there. They might accidentally place the 3 all the way to the hundreds place, or they might actually multiply the 5 times the regroup. What you do again is you multiply the 5 times the 0, wherever place that may be, and then remember to add in the regroup if you need to. So in this case, 5 times 0 is 0, plus 3 is 3, and then 5 times 3 is 15. So 306 times 5 is 1,530. Here's another problem, 804 times 7. You will notice that there is still a 0 in the tens place, a 0 in one of those factors. We still start in the ones place, 7 times 4 is 28, where we place the 8 and we regroup the 2. Remember, we put that 2 right there because it's worth 2 tens. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2, that's that step right there, where again we went 7 times 0, which was 0, and then we added in that 2. Finally, we can multiply 7 times 8, which is 56. And we remember to place our comma. So 804 times 7 is 5,628. Here's a similar type problem. This is 806 times 20. Double digit multiplication now. We place a 0 because the 2 is worth 20. And then we just go step by step by step. Where we go 2 times 6 first, which is 12. We place the 2 and we group that 1 right over that 0 there. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1, and 2 times 8 is 16. So 806 times 20 is 16,120. Here are two problems for you to try. Please go ahead and copy them down and solve them. Do hit pause. For that first problem, again, we start in the ones place, where we go 5 times 3, which is 15. You place the 5, and you regroup the 1. Next step is 5 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1, and then 5 times 6, which is 30. 603 times 5 is 3,015. 706 times 20, hopefully you remember to place that 0, because that 2 is worth 20. Then you go to 2 times 6, which is 12, a 2, regroup a 1, right to that tens place. 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1. And then 2 times 7, which is 14. 14,120 is that product for 706 times 20. Here we have 908 times 24. And then so there's just going to be a few more steps with this problem here. We'll start by figuring out the product of 908 times 4. Step by step, 4 times 8, which is 32. Place a 2, regroup that 3 right into that tens place. 4 times 0, which is 0, plus 3, which is 3, and 4 times 9, which is 36. We remember to cross out our regroups. We also remember to place a 0 because the 2 is worth 20. And then we continue with those steps. 2 times 8, which is 16. A 6, regroup the 1 into the tens place. 2 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1. And 2 times 9, which is 18. We carefully add those two numbers together. And this is what we get for our answer. 21,792. 
All right, here's one for you to try, 706 times 39. Go ahead and set it up and solve it. Do hit pause. First step is 9 times 6, which is 54. A 4, regroup the 5. 9 times 0, which is 0. Plus 5, which is 5. And 9 times 7, which is 63. Check your work so far. Hopefully you get 706 times 9, equaling that 6,354. Next you would place a 0, because that 3 is worth 30. Then you go 3 times 6, which is 18. Place an 8, regroup that 1. 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 1, which is 1, and 3 times 7, which is 21. Check that second part of your product there. And then hopefully you added correctly then. So the product is 27,534. So again, the zero is just a placeholder, so wherever it's at within that factor, you still have to go step by step where it's like four times zero here, which is zero, four times six, which is 24, four times eight, which is 32, plus two, which is 34, place a zero, two times zero, which is zero, two times six, which is 12, two, regroup the one, two times eight, which is 16, plus one, which is 17, and then add those numbers together. So again, in review, all you do is that you have to absolutely have to regroup correctly. So that 7 times 9, which is 63, we place the 3 and we regroup that 6 right into the next place over, in the tens place in this particular case. 7 times 0, which is 0, plus 6, which is 6, and 7 times 6 is 42. When we are working with double digit multiplication, that 6 is worth 60 in this case, so I have to absolutely place that 0. And then it's that same sort of step again. 6 times 9, which is 54, place the 4, regroup the 5. That's the important part of this lesson. 6 times 0, which is 0, plus 5, which is 5, right there. And 6 times 6, which is 36. Carefully add those two numbers together, and then I will have my answer. 40,803. So again, that zero is a placeholder, so you cannot ignore it. And then so be very careful and you're following through with that work.